So with this in mind, we come back to this, this nasty trick, this sexual cartel. And why men have bought into this sexual cartel, this overriding belief that men have in their minds that say, oh no, I don't want to hook up with that girl. She's too easy. She's a slut. See, it's really ironic. We put woman, women in a nasty double bind. This is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. We raise women, and I say we meaning all of our society and internationally. Their mothers, their fathers, their family, the culture, their friends, all raise them to believe certain very broken paradigms. Everyone knows that if a girl decides to do things by her, by her own urges, and she decides she's going to choose with whom she sleeps, she's not going to take conventional roles and settle down, get married, have children. She knows that society around her regardless of the other decisions she's made in her life, maybe she's becoming a research scientist. Maybe she's decided she's going to go on a world tour as an archaeologist. Maybe she wants to be a surfer, and she thinks that having children right now would be a bad investment. Maybe she's a reporter, traveling around the world. Or for whatever other reason, or maybe no reason at all. She's not interested in getting married and having children and settling down. So all her friends and her mother will say, you better hurry up. You better get control of your life. You better settle down. Otherwise, you're going to grow and become an old maid. You're going to be lonesome and unattended, and you're going to get old all by yourself because the women are all reminding her that her security comes from external sources. And with this in mind, they say, well, if you're going to have sex and you're not going to get married, <gasps> wait a second, that undermines our entire model. We can't allow that. That violates the cartel. If a woman has sex because she wants to, because she likes the guy, because she thinks he's hot, because she's bored, because she hasn't got anything better to do, for any reason, where she's doing it strictly to suit herself. We brand her as loose, easy, cheap. We say of her, she has no self-respect because she gives herself away for nothing. And we call her a nasty four-letter word. We call her a slut. Now, to a woman, when a man calls her a slut, she brushes it off. It's no big deal. To a man, when he describes a woman as a slut, what he means is this is a woman who's having more sex than I would like her to. doesn't matter how much. If it's your wife and you don't want her having sex with anyone else and you find out she's sleeping with the gardener, that's just one guy, she's a slut. To your buddy at school who knows a girl and he thinks she's sexy, but he looks at her and he knows, ooh, I know my friend Gary told me he went to bed with her, and I know my friend Bobby told me that he went to bed with her, and we all know in high school or amongst young men how honest they are. <clears throat> When this guy looks at the girl, he goes, mm, yeah, she's been around a little bit. And then he tells his buddy who wants to hook up with her because she wants to hook up with him. He says, oh, you don't want to hook up with her? She's a slut. She's been with Gary and she's been with Bobby. The guy goes, oh, well, I don't want to marry her. I just want to fuck her. But the truth of the matter is, it's an insane and unfair proposition to put on a woman to scare men off of her by offering them public disapproval, which men can't bear. Or worse, to tell them that their choice will not receive approval 
because for most men, actually settling down with a woman is something where they absolutely have to have the approval of other men. That's why men decide to get married, because, ah, oh, thank God I get to exit the dating world. And besides, everyone thinks this girl is good. So they'll settle down. But you see, it's a really nasty trick that a girl who's self-directed and making up her own mind gets labeled in this way. Now, if we say, and we do, that a woman who does what she wants for her own reasons, has sex with people at her whim, to suit herself, we say about her, she has no self-respect, she gives herself away for nothing. Well, that means there's another kind of woman. The second kind of woman is a woman who has tremendous self-respect. She never gives herself away for nothing. She always charges for it. We have a word for a woman who charges for it, too. We call her a whore. That's nice and complimentary, isn't it, guys? All right, so now we have the world divided into women of two categories, sluts on one side, whores on the other side. Whores are also divided into two categories. There's a low-status whore, and for the purposes of this, I'm going to call her a hoe. It's easy to say. The hoe is a girl who says, well, he took me to a play and he paid for the tickets and he took me out for dinner and he paid for the booze and he paid for the babysitter at home, so I'll fuck him. Or he promised he'd take me to London for the weekend or he promised he would take me to Trinidad or he, he took me on this trip or he bought me this fur or he paid for this or he paid for my rent or he helped my kids get into a better school or, or he helped me get a better job. So I'll go to bed with him basically understanding that there's a direct relationship between her putting out and her bringing in. It doesn't matter. She could just be working in one of the booths around the corner from here saying, you know, 50 euro. But under all circumstances, the hoe is in a situation where she is not entirely disrespected, but she's certainly not praised. Then again, there's the high-status whore. This one we call a contract whore. This is a woman who is able to demonstrate that she's in such high demand, that she's of such high quality, that she will vend her sexuality to just one client in exchange for a lifetime of support for herself and her children. <laughs> and once she's signed this contract, she won't even have to have sex with her client. And fairly often, she won't. This doesn't mean she won't have sex with anybody. It just means she won't advertise her sex as being available to anybody. And we have a very nasty four-letter word for this kind of woman. There we go, guys, a wife. <laughs> this is society's nasty trick. It wasn't designed by women. It was designed by men. And women have been supporting it ever since. And it's a really nasty trick, and it's unkind to women and extremely unkind to us. Because you see, we've bought into this cartel. We've decided that if we get something for nothing, it's got no value. But you see, if a woman chooses to come to bed with you for her own reasons, then it's not for nothing, it's for her reasons. Just because you didn't have to put anything into the equation, as far as you know, just the very fact that you are you is your investment in that part of this deal. You don't have to be anything other than you. I can promise you guys, I spend about one second a year trying to be impressive. Then I